we must remember to delight ourselves in the Lord. Psalms 40 says, I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined them to me and heard my cry. He brought me up out of a horrible pit, out of the miry clay, and set my feet upon a rock and established my goings. And he hath put a new song in my mouth, even praise unto our God. Many shall see it in fear and shall trust in the Lord. Blessed is that man that makes the Lord his trust and respecteth not the proud, nor such as turn aside to lies. I'm going to say this season right now more than any other season. We have got to be sensitive to what we latch on to. We need to make sure it lines up with this scripture. And we need to walk because there's going to be all kinds of things happening out there. And the reason we come to the point we are is because we relied on scripture as our guidebook. And even when we would make mistakes and fall and falter, we'd be quick to turn back to God and let him raise us up again. And I'm telling you, this is a season that is opened up for two reasons. First of all, the word has been planted in your heart. But secondly, the time we live in is very crucial. And uh, so as we come together as a church, and we understand that we're the body of Christ, the head of the body is seated at the right hand of the Father. We must understand that we're connected in spirit and one can't do anything without the other. And we've been so focused on the head and rightfully so, but our ears have to be attuned to his voice so that when he says move, we move. God is real. He is alive. There's something happening in the White Mountains of Arizona and the happening is God. The anointing of God. This is the mountain of God. No longer the mountain of drug use. No longer the mountain of, of poverty. No longer the mountain of misery. This is the mountain of God filled with the joy of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, praise him a little bit. Let's give him some praise. is good. Jesus is alive. Blessed, happy, fortunate to be envied is he who considers the weak and the poor and the Lord will deliver him in the time of evil or trouble. Listen, you got a promise. We love to minister to the poor. We love to go help men and women all over the world. Is God makes that provision. God's given you a promise. You don't have anything to worry about, guys. God said he'll reach down and deliver his church. Now, we need to believe that. We need to believe that. We, we need to quit just being and going and just having little meetings. We need to have encounters with the true and living God every time we get up in the morning. We need to have an encounter with God, understanding we're the children of the living God. Amen. And when we come together, we don't come together just to have church. We come together to have an encounter with the true and living God, the only God. Praise God. Well, let's turn to somebody and say, God's here. God's here. He's alive. Hallelujah. Man, it's good to be back home. Hallelujah. Hug somebody's neck. Let them know you love them. My goodness. See you. 
praise him a little bit more well come on let's praise him a little bit more let's praise him a little bit more are you ready are you ready are you ready come on let's praise him all right La 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 